Now, what is entry and exit criteria in software testing? So entry and exit criteria is very important interview question. Entry and exit criteria as the name itself suggests. So when you want to enter some phase and exit is when you want to exit a particular phase, right? So entry criteria is nothing but a checklist you can say or a criteria that is being defined that helps you to decide when you can basically start the testing for a particular testing phase. For example, when can you go ahead and start the test execution of the functional testing, right? So what is the criteria? The criteria should be basically that your build should be ready first, right? You can't just go ahead and things are not ready. Your, your application is not ready and you can you go ahead and start the testing? No, right? So entry criteria helps you to identify the key details or key checklist or key items that need to be completed before any further work can be performed okay so that is what the entry criteria is all about so entry cri criteria can be applicable to each and every phase right so it could be applicable to the requirement phase to the design phase to the development phase to the testing phase right and this was more of when the traditional development approaches were there so entry and exit criteria is more relevant was more relevant in the traditional development approaches waterfall and v model and it is applicable nowadays as well in agile but with a different terminology so i'll understand i'll explain that as well so entry criteria will help you to identify when you can enter a particular phase for example to enter a development phase the team needs to have the design completed right or design discussion happened and they need to understand how they are going to progress what the design will be and what they need to go ahead and start coding that's the entry criteria the exit criteria helps you to decide when to stop the testing when to stop the development right of a particular phase so that's what the exit criteria is and entry and exit criteria when somebody asks you in the interview regarding the testing it's mostly relevant to the testing right so but it could be applicable to other phases as well but if it is if you are giving a software testing interview it is mostly when you can start testing and when you can stop testing that's the exit criteria so starting testing when you can start testing is the entry criteria what what is the criteria that needs to be met when you can stop testing that's the exit criteria okay and exit criteria from one phase forms entry criteria of the other phase right so for example when we say when can you start the integration testing when all the unit testing has been completed right and no major defects are outstanding right so th this could be one of the criteria there can be many points in there when can you start when you when can you start system testing when integration testing is all completed no major defects are open all the defects that are all severity one and two defects that were there in system in integration testing have been fixed then you can go ahead and say yes system testing we can go ahead and start because integration testing has been completed right when can you start acceptance testing so the exit criteria of one phase forms the entry criteria of the another testing phase right so that's the third point